So now that I'm doing Call of Duty videos, I think that it's time to talk about Modern Warfare Remastered because I was going to talk about this yesterday, but I had the last of us video and I was going to upload it uh, on Sunday, but I forgot, so I uploaded it yesterday. So let's talk about Modern Warfare Remastered. Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, actually. Here's the thing. I'm not going to talk about the release date. I'm not going to talk about all the news. You already know it. You've already watched all the YouTubers. Let's, let's list this off. Do not ruin Modern Warfare 2. It, it, Modern Warfare 2 is one of the first Call of Duties that I played on multiplayer. Now, I played Modern Warfare 4, I'm sorry, Modern Warfare, uh, you know, the first one, a little bit, but I didn't really play it extensively like I did for Modern Warfare 2. Modern Warfare 2 had one of the funnest and interesting multiplayers ever. And if you change even a little bit of that, it's going to ruin the experience that a lot of people have had. Now, one man army new tubes i understand it's a big big problem i understand that but that's the whole point of one man army is to replenish your ammo i mean what's the point of not putting it back in there that was the whole point of the whole perk i understand that it, it's going to be in every game that's what it is that's what modern warfare 2 was and if you are trying to recreate the feeling of modern warfare 2 taking noob tubes uh, taking one man army noob tubes out ruins the experience that all of us hardcore call of duty players had when we first played the game you know yeah we were we were pissed every time we got hit by a new tube but we had fun it doesn't matter you know we had fun even though we died and if whoever is developing this if it's raven software if they can't get that through their heads if they can't say hey you know this is what the the core audience loved why would we change that if they can't get that through their head and say okay what's not change anything then the game's just gonna be ruined like Modern Warfare Remastered. Modern Warfare Remastered added so much garbage, added so much guns to it, supply drops, and I mean, it just, it wasn't Modern Warfare, it wasn't Modern Warfare at all, you know, it was something completely different, uh, just with the Modern Warfare name and maps. I mean, it was not Modern Warfare. Now, if they do the same thing with Modern Warfare 2, I mean, what's the point of buying it even if it is $25 it's not going to be worth it and I already accepted the fact that it's not going to be the same thing because of course the players are going to be completely different if this releases next next month people are going to buy it kids are going to buy it people are going to buy it before summer and then throughout summer it's going to be a completely different version of Modern Warfare 2 but I don't think that uh, removing anything is going to make anything better keep everything as it was I, I i just don't see a lot of people being hyped about this at all if you don't keep the core things that kept modern warfare 2 modern warfare 2 and not another game to be compared to people don't compare modern warfare 2 to modern warfare 3 completely different games because one was incredibly fun very tactical and it was the start of something chaotic it was it was the start of hollywood call of duty it was the start of the big set pieces and everything blowing up and going crazy you know that's what modern warfare 2 started and ripping it from its personality and its uniqueness from the call of duty series really does show how ignorant activision is about their games and their audience uh, another rumor that I've been hearing circulating around the internet is that they're not going to have any campaign, which is completely understandable. If they don't have campaign, I mean, duh. I mean, it, it, there's one mission, and it's called No Russians, and if you haven't heard of it, you've been living under the biggest rock I've ever heard of, okay? Because No Russians is just a mass shooting. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I If it's just multiplayer, it's completely understandable because it comes out... 10 days after the anniversary of the Columbine shootings. If they have a mass shooting in this video game, it's not going to be good. And not only that, the media coverage is going to be just like it was back when the game originally came out. The media coverage is going to be mass shooting, no Russians, it promotes video game violence, blah, 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 blah. You know, that's what it's going to be. That's what it's going to say. And it's clear that, I mean, it's very clear that Activision probably doesn't want to do that. So if there's no campaign, I understand it. Uh, the campaign was an amazing part of the game, but, you know, if they don't have the campaign, I'm completely fine with that. I have played the campaign about a billion times, and there's nothing that you could really do with the campaign that's interesting that can bring players back. You could do some stuff with the multiplayer, like, you know, make it like it was, but, you know, the campaign, it's completely understandable. You can't just cut no Russians from the video game. That's the entire sole reason why Russia and the United States go to war. If you cut no Russians out of Modern Warfare 2, the entire the entirety of Modern Warfare 2 after No Russians and Modern Warfare 3 make no sense. 
so they can't cut out no Russians. Uh, and you know, I doubt they want to show it either. So taking the campaign out completely is a, it's a, it's a business decision. That's very intelligent. So that's just my thoughts and opinions. You know, I'm not going to ram you down with a bunch of news and you guys have already heard that there's billions of call of duty YouTubers out there. And I think that if, if I need to separate myself from them, I need to start giving my own opinion pieces rather than just random news that comes out throughout the month. I mean, yeah, I'm going to be reporting on the news, but I'm also going to be giving my opinions, uh, and giving speculations about stuff that i hope to see in the future so thank you guys for watching if you guys did enjoy go ahead and click that like button if we could get like you know 40 likes that'd be amazing if you are new and you do like call of duty go ahead and subscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out